You suck at cooking, yeah you totally suck! Hey everybody, Christmas is coming, and nothing says Christmas like nachos, so today we're gonna make macho nachos. These are the toughest nachos on the block for strong men only, so ladies, I'm afraid you're gonna have to turn off your computer. Please do that now. Great, now that it's just us tough guys, let's get into it. The first step to making macho nachos is to moisturize. A good moisturizer adds a layer of protection to the epidermis, keeping your surface epithelium and periderm tissues soft, fresh, and smelling great. Moisturize! The next step is to get a small pan that can go in the oven. Line it with foil if you want to make cleanup easier or if you want to transfer it to a plate. Pan! Make sure you're wearing comfortable pants, like yoga pants. They allow you to be flexible and quick and nimble on your feet. Pants! Guess what? If you're making macho nachos, it means you like sports. So let's get our game day colors on. I'm gonna throw a little turquoise for all the teams that play near the ocean. I'm gonna throw in some dark red for the Revlon Coyotes. And I'm gonna throw in some glitter for the Arizona Glitterbacks. Sports! Make sure you let that dry. Throw in just enough nachos to create a solid bottom layer. Grab some cheese, get out your shredder, press. Once you get that cheddar shredded, you're gonna add a small layer of cheese to the nachos, or a thick layer, whatever you like. Take a tomato and punch it in the face. Delicately sprinkle a few tomatoes on. Take a red onion, turn it into black beans. Put a few of those on there. Don't be afraid to get precise with how you want things placed. 